Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome to Game Tech UK. Welcome to a special stream because we have the Xbox Series S here, a brand new generation of consoles. And, you know, I've been here for all of us, all of us oldies in the chat. We've been here for all generations of consoles before they were consoles, before they were tiny little home computers. So this is a special day for me. I'm probably more passionate about gaming than I probably ever have been and I've always been passionate about gaming it, it, it's me if you cut me gaming will just pour out don't cut me this is a special day now Xbox Series S I've got quite a few messages why did you choose the S and not the X so 50 50 answer 50 percent of it is um it was a bit of a cost saving exercise i'd already pre-ordered um the playstation 5 just a couple of days before with a disc version so that was quite expensive um and it was a cost cutting exercise you know to buy both of them for myself in november is a little bit greedy but the other reason is now a lot of the hardcore gamers and the you know proper gaming passionate people like myself will probably have the x um there'll be a lot of people new to the hobby of gaming families um people on a budget people that haven't got a 4k tv this is 249 pound this is such a bargain yes it has got 512 i, I saw some messages in the chat earlier who cares we'll talk about that as we go but we're going to have a look at it in today's stream we're going to unbox it we're going to play it we're, we're going to have some fun with it I'm also excited about bringing Xbox content to the channel. So far, apart from those few titles that I've put on PC, um, I haven't had any Xbox console content to bring to the channel, so I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about Game Pass, installing that on there. It's, it's cool. I'm really, really excited. Let me say some lovely hellos in the chat. Over 300 people in there. I've got a nice little stream planned for you. And um, it's not going to be short either. It's going to be a long one. So let's see who we got in. There's quite a few people in here. So I'm sure the names will go fast. We Thank you, PJ. We've got my boy Max in here. We've got Connor. We've got Will. We've got uh, John, Alfie, Stimson, Nathan, Tommy. We've got James Wood in here. Uh, Vipes here. We've got Raymond Tintin. We've got... It's going fast now. And I can still keep up. We've got Pugwash. We've got Tyrone, Zevo's in here. Fake Man. We've got Stu. Madman's in here. Loads of people. Uh, we've got Ricardo. Thank you very much. Cedric Winkleberger's in. <laughs> What a great day. And I must say, and I've already said this in Discord to the members as well, a massive thank you to everyone that's got a GT UK badge next to your name. You, you paid for this. You brought this for me from the lovely support and love that you show the channel. Everything gets invested back in. So a massive thank you to all lovely people that take the time don to donate and those members as well. And of course, everyone else, but a special thank you to those. Shall we get on with it? So what are we going to do in today's stream? We're going to have an unboxing. I'm going to show you where it's going to live. We're going to update it. We're going to install some games. We're going to play some games. Um, <laughs> always a pleasure to pay your bills. I've got a nice cup of tea as well. If you are new, just know that I'm quite relaxed. There's no rush here. Um, there's no rush. right? So this ain't going to be a, a 10 minute stream. Uh, there's absolutely no rush. We're just going to go for it, have a chat. Um, and uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Does that mean the members get that? Yeah, of course. Also, I've got a bit of a thing, right? You know, you know how much I love gaming. I've got a bit of a thing about box art. I've always found the box art on um, consoles so fascinating. And I think, I think it's to do with when you're young. You know, when I remember being 10 and a half years old, building up to that 11th Christmas, just waiting for my Amstrad and permanently going into wh smith's where i knew my parents were buying it and just seeing the spectrum uh the electron the bbc and all the box art of you know the actual you know box art the art on the box and just being just fascinated by it as well i've got a few examples for you so is it nostalgia or is was box art better back then what i find is is that it's quite clinical today there isn't much to do with a game because if that game is a bit of a flop they don't want it they don't want to be associated with it here you can see power rangers on the old mega drive 
This one was a massive favourite of mine. The ZX Spectrum 2 with James Bond. Look, you can see the kids playing it, having fun. You see the hardware in action. You see the theme of what's inside the box. You know, it's, it's nostalgic. It's, um, you know, it's exciting to look at. Then we got that as well, the Mega Drive 2 with the old Virtua Racing. You know, actual showing proper gameplay on the box. You know, not just box art. This is gameplay of what's on there. I love it. Even back to the NES of Don Donkey Kong, it's just bright, it's attractive, and it looks fun. It looks fun to even pick the box up, let alone uh, play it. Even modern ones like Battlefront 2, you know, this is even this is quite exciting. Like, th this generation does seem quite clinical because there isn't that huge amount of um, launch titles. And then we got this one, which makes me laugh. I mean, there's no gameplay there. They are really trying to sell it to you. <laughs> you too can be a cowboy. But I love box art. And I find that to be... It's about the machine, isn't it? I suppose being a new generation, it's about the machine. On the back, um, there are some games. And, you know, this is... Um, there are some games. But in terms of box art, it's not the most exciting but it's definitely, it, it stands out. It stands out. you got this little bit here. So that's going to differentiate this um, from the Xbox Series X. Shall we get on with the unboxing? Let's get it done. So let's start with the box. Nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, it looks lovely. And you can tell it's the S because we've got this little bit here where you speak into to order your uh, breakfast muffins. Uh, it's the 512 um, gigabyte SSD version that's the only version available on the s at the moment we have got 100 and uh, we've got some bits on the side actually so we've got uh, gaming up to 120 frames per second xbox velocity architecture variable refresh rate disc free gaming obviously this is the edition without the disc high dynamic range and 512 gigabyte ssd drive so let's have a look inside so let's do the unboxing. We do love an unboxing. So once we get past the quite hefty um, recyclable cardboard to hold it in, we have got the yes, S. This is actually way smaller than I thought. Oh my God, really small. Power your dreams. This is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Oh, wow. <laughs> You know I've got to do that. <laughs> right, so what have we got on the back? Well, we've got the network. We've got two USB ports. We've got the HDMI. And we've got the storage expansion and a two-prong figure of eight um, electric plug. So there they are there. Around the front, we've got um, a USB slot. And I presume the button there to connect the um, the controller up to. And it is a physical button. So it has got a, um, a little physical click to it. And that's it. I mean, that really is it. We've got a little bit of um, recessed Xbox um, logo up there. A little bit of branding. But yeah, that is that is really nice. I tell you what, I'm really excited. I've you know I love gaming, and this is next gen. This only happens every few years. I mean, what is it? Five, six, seven years ago. So this is this is big. This is big. Actually, this is small, but the unboxing is big. Just along this rear edge of the packaging, we've got the extras. So we've got um, HDMI cable, pretty standard stuff. We've got a uh, power lead. And of course, we've got the controller. Now, this is, I suppose, one of the biggest disappointments with the Xbox, that they haven't gone for something that feels genuinely next-gen like the PlayStation has. We're not here to compare the PlayStation, but it's an observation more than anything else. Wouldn't it be great if, um, you know, you're going to get that haptic feedback? There isn't. It's exactly the same as before. And does anyone else find it weird that we're still using double A's? I find it a little bit weird. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, I'm not going to lose any sleep with it and go to forums and berate them for it. But it does seem a little bit weird that in this day and age, we are using double A's. But they're supplied, so that's all good. It actually feels really nice. It feels different. I think it's a little bit smaller. I think. Let me get my... I mean, I've only got me Elite here. No, they are, well, it might be a little bit smaller, just a little bit. But what it has got 
it's got this sort of uh, grippy sort of compound at the at the rear that actually feels quite nice um but yeah there's really nothing to report on the controller so this is where it's going to live. This is its new home. And you can see the size there. That's the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, you can see the size difference. But uh, it looks quite sweet. I really like it. And I like the fact it's white. I like the fact it stands out. A lot of people are complaining about the fact that the PlayStation is white. But look, it looks cool. You know, it's like you've got a new console. It's reminding you all the time. I love the color. I would say that the um, controller is a slightly different white to the actual case. Not much, but there is a definite difference. It's probably just made of a different plastic. Nothing to complain about, more an observation. But that's where it's gonna live. So um, let's get it all plugged in and updated. Took a little while to set up, had an update as soon as it plugged in. And you had to update the firmware on the controller as well. I've gone through, I've put my account on um, the games that we're going to play tonight. So let's have a look at what we're going to play tonight. Um, I've got Dirt 5. I got sent that by the developer. So I've installed that because they've got the X and S optimized version. So that already looks beautiful on the PlayStation 4. So that's going to be really interesting um, to see what that looks like. I've also installed Forza Horizon 4, a brilliant game that I struggled with on steering wheel. And once I went over to controller, um, it felt a lot better. But with your rig sitting there, I sort of left it very quickly. But I'm going to go back to that, especially now I'm used to the controller with Dirt, 4, uh, Dirt 5 sorry, as well. So we're going to be looking at that. We've got Tetris Effect. This is an X and an S optimized um, title. So I just want to show you as much as I possibly can. And a new game, Yakuza Like a Dragon, is $74.99, which hurt a little bit. But I at least want to show you something new tonight. So um, I've purchased that as well. I've got to love, I love being back on the Xbox. I've actually got an Xbox One um, in the front room and Max has got his Xbox X. But this is the real reason that I've installed um, or at least purchased an Xbox because I'm missing out really on Xbox Game Pass. It's just fantastic. Look at all these games. You know, really as a solution, this is why I was interested in getting the S because for 249 quid and a subscription to Game Pass, look at what you get. You get absolutely everything. Now, that's not going to be the hardcore gamer's choice. You're going to go with the X and you'll be buying um, full price games. But for the average gaming family, I thought that the Xbox S would be of real interest. And you give this to your kids or your youngsters or even yourself and look at what you've got access to on this one little machine. It, it, it's staggering, really. The Xbox Game Pass. Got Train Sim World on there as well. Game Pass is going to take something really, really massive to beat it. Now, like I say, I've got an Xbox, but I haven't played it for years. Literally haven't played it for years. And it's a bit weird what Microsoft have done, giving everything to you on the PC. I haven't real had a real need to go to the Xbox. And I'm not that familiar with the dashboard. But it seems that they've gone back to sort of like a blade system. Almost like, do you remember the 360 with the blades across the top? So you've got Xbox Game Pass. You've got that section there. And it gives you the heading of where you are, top left. So you've got the store. You've got into entertainment events community pins so i quite like it so far but the main the main um the main bit we're going to be going in is xbox game pass anyway now i've got a couple of tvs in this room um the one connected up to my flight rig is a 2k monitor so when i was setting it up i started on there and it went in and you can see where it says resolution it, it knew that it was 2k uh, and it did that when i plugged it into my pc to put it through the stream system it said you've got more capability do you want to auto enable it so i'll put yes um, and it looks like the 2k has disappeared now we're going to work this out throughout the rest of the stream but i didn't think the s did 4k maybe it's just the uh, operating system that's 4k and when we go into the game it'll be less um, but it does look like that the once you plug it into 4k the option for 2k disappears so that'd be interesting um, to work out uh, on the rest of the stream and obviously the um, we have got 120 Hertz as well my TV doesn't support that but you have got so effectively you have got a 4k with 120 Hertz um, option there but we're, we're gonna flush that out throughout the rest of the stream so as we know from the recent press, you're getting a lot less in your hard drive to actually utilize once the operating system's on there. But I know about computers. I know about hard drives. I expected that anyway. And you've got 364 
gigabyte free that's what you're left with once the operating system but i'm well aware of the fact that this costs 249 quid it is a cheap next gen option so yes i'm going to be uninstalling reinstalling the hard drives are really really expensive and i'm going to make it my um, life's work not to buy an additional hard drive i'm just going to manage it i'm going to have a couple of games on the go at the moment you know in one go and just see how long i can go before i have to um, purchase it because purchasing a new hard drive is pretty much doubling the price almost so that is quite an expensive add-on so i'm going to try and do without it but I understand that it's 249 quid. That is a very, very cheap option to get into next gen gaming. So with the Xbox servers being quite busy, we've got a long wait. So luckily, through the magic of editing, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll go back live um, and we'll be able to play Start With Dirt 5 and see what else we can play tonight. So there you go. I did that deliberately earlier and put the stream back a little bit later. Otherwise, you was just going to have a stream where there was going to be just a lot of waiting around. Now, I can show you some games. We've got Dirt. Um, Tetris is already uh, downloaded, so I can go straight from that um, into some game plan. So we're back live now, right? That little bit there was um, was pre-recorded from earlier on this afternoon, but it's sitting up there. It's been on um, all afternoon as well, all, all evening, and it's as, it's as cool as a cucumber. It really, really is. So we're going to go straight into Dirt. Um, now, yeah, I did, um, when I did the pre-recorded bit, I mentioned about the 4K, and yes, it, you don't game in 4K on the S. You can do things like Netflix. So it will play your Ultra HD Netflix, but you'll be gaming in 2K um, is the maximum. So I've put, um, I went into Dirt. I haven't played Dirt. I went in there because I had to turn the music off. I was I get a copyright strike. So we're going to go straight into Dirt, and then we're going to play some Tetris, and then hopefully we'll have a go at Yakuza. I brought that because I wanted to show you some um, proper next-gen footage. So I have already played on the channel Dirt 5 on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and it looks absolutely stunning. To me already, it looks like a next-gen game. Um, I'm not sure if ray tracing is on the Xbox S and the um, S and the X version, but we'll, we'll judge it for ourselves. So, thank you very much for watching. Let's get in there. Um, let's get in there and play. So, like I say, I've already started Dirt 5, but I haven't raced. I went in, I went to the menu, turned the music down. Um, so here we are right from the start. So I'm just going to restart. Please let me know about volumes as well. So we're on the new white controller. So this should be effectively playing um, at 2K. I've chosen, um, please let me know, oh, volume is fine, good. I've chosen um, frame rate. Now it said, obviously, if you've got um, 120 hertz TV, it can go up to that. Oh, I do love Dirt 5 though. It is such an arcade beast, it really is. Not the best online, we won't be doing any online tonight, we'll only be playing these um, first few single players. I mean, it's looking, it's looking lovely. I need to turn notifications off, didn't I? Yeah, obviously you're going to be getting, um, you are going to be getting some um, degrading quality because I'm streaming. But it does look very, being honest, it does. If I put the PlayStation Five, uh, PlayStation Four version on, would I, would I know the difference? The frame rate is nice, I must say. We will go and choose um, graphic priority as well, just to see whether that bumps it up a little bit. I wouldn't say it's a huge amount different than the PlayStation 4 version, but it, it's definitely, definitely smooth. Hello Rob, how are you mate? Haven't seen you for a while, how are you? Now like I say though, don't forget that, you know, we was talking about hard drive um, size, let me turn that down, it's very loud. You sure the volume's all good, yeah? Yeah, we're talking about um, hard drive size, and yes, it advertises at 512, and yes, you're only getting 364, which seems, um, you know, a little bit tight, but that's just the way things are. Um, an operating system takes up space, you know, it takes up space. Also, I think that with the S, you can um, 
you can choose, or I think they're going to let you choose um, to uh, uninstall quite a few bits that you're not using as well. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Close the door, mate. Yeah, so you should be able to have um, smaller download sizes as well, hopefully. But I've installed um, Dirt 5, Tetris, I've got Forza coming down, I've got um, Yakuza. I mean, how many games are you going to be playing at once? I'm gonna, Like I said in my uh, pre-recorded bit there, I'm going to make it my life's work not to buy a hard drive for this. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna manage it, and you know, I'm just gonna manage it. Uninstall and reinstall. I'm never on the Xbox gonna have more than um, two or three games uh, running anyway. Right. Let's do something first. How do you? Um, let's have a look. Now, this is gonna be a test because I don't know. How, I don't know where all this stuff is. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do the pop-ups. It's. Uh, let's have a look. It will be in preferences. It will be notifications. Notification banners on. We want them off. I... Yep. Yeah. So that's off. Lovely. That's not being rude to anyone, but people watching don't want to see um, that popping up. Right. Let's get back to it. You can only play one game at a time. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And if you have an external USB, you can move games. Yeah. Exactly. Which you can't do on the PlayStation Five at the moment. But this is not a comparison with the. Uh, this is not a next gen comparison. Tonight is all about the Xbox S. Two hundred and forty nine quid. Such a bargain. It is an absolute bargain. And oh my good gold. So don't worry about gameplay too much. We're um, we're testing things tonight. Let's um, can we go into graphics yet? No, it's, I think that's got to be back at the beginning, hasn't it? Yeah, that's got to be back at the beginning. Okay, we'll finish this lap and then we'll go to prioritize um, graphics rather than frame rate and see whether we get some ray tracing or whatever's included in this gen next gen version. Okay, that's fine. That's that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the look. It looks lovely. Does it look that much different to the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is effectively last gen? Not a huge amount. Not a huge amount. But this is what we're going to get to start with. We want those next gen titles. We want those blockbusters. This is just a upgraded version from the last version. But we will put it on um, prioritized graphics. Maybe it will look a lot better. I reckon I should get permission. That's my lovely wife, by the way. I reckon I should get permission to spend 250 on a little something this evening. I've already thanked the members because the lovely members brought this. That's what they did. So you'll have to speak to them. <laughs> right, okay. You ready to hit the dirt? I've got permission. Okay, uh, let's go to... Um, let's go to Korea. Hey there. If you're listening to this we don't need to listen to that. No, nah, we don't need to listen to that. That's fine. Right, let's go to this one. We should be able to start it and then get to the graphical options there. We should Rally be able to. <laughs> and they said yes. <laughs> That's all right, John. Um, like I say, it's going to be a chilled out evening. It's going to be all over the place. We're going to be talking about lots of different things. Um, hopefully, me pre-recording that section has literally saved us hours and hours of just waiting um, and chatting aimlessly. I wanted to keep it um, nice and focused. So hopefully, um, where's the graphics then? Where's the graphics gone? Maybe it's, hmm, okay. Uh, let's quit and go back to the main screen. Maybe it's there. Yeah, pre-recording just just saved hours. You know, I thought if, if we where is the bloody graphics? Oh, settings. Here we go. No, what? Where's the graphical options gone? Driving hard video options. Prioritize resolution. Let's prioritize image quality. Maybe that will give us some next-gen goodness that we didn't get on that one. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. Let's go back to Korea. Okay, so this is, um, is there any games that run 120 frames? Yeah, this one. So if you prioritize um, frame rate and you've got a monitor, don't forget you need a monitor that's going to let you do 120. It's not just going to magically do that. But yes, this game runs at 120, apparently on the S as well, which is pretty good. 
yeah don't spam let's just have a nice chilled evening if you want to see the unboxing just roll back a little bit um and you'll see that i condensed it down on a little pre-recorded segment so if you want to see the unboxing and a little bit of the setup just scroll back on the stream and then come back and um uh, see us no no microsoft Okay, so this is prioritizing graphics over frame rate. I mean, again, it doesn't it doesn't particularly look uh, next gen. You know, I'm looking for a game to show it off to you. It might just end up being Tetris. This really, to me, I mean, I love this game. I've got no problem with the game. I don't like the multiplayer options, but as a single player. Um, arcade game this I love it but I'm gonna be brutally honest and say next gen no this looks like the PlayStation 4 version so a little bit of disappointment there I really can't see any improvement um, yeah I can't see any improvement at all yeah I think it's gonna be Tetris to to show off the uh, uh, some capability yeah so you can see it stuttering a little bit more and yeah this doesn't this it's weird though because it doesn't actually look as good as prioritizing um, frame rate so the game already looks beautiful but I don't think the Xbox S is particularly um, being shown off here but that's just me being brutally honest this is not a um, it's not a next-gen comparison stream we're not talking about we're not slagging off we're not comparing any other console we're just talking about the Xbox S that's what we're talking about now I know full well that these first batch of um, these first batch of games you, you know they are straddling they are straddling Xbox and the, the Xbox you know last gen and this gen so you're always gonna have a compromise the foot isn't gonna be in one camp or the other I mean it looks lovely don't get me wrong but um, I'm going to come and read some chat, actually. I'm going to read some chat. What What do you think? Yeah, it looks worse. That's weird. That is weird, isn't it? The weather looks worse. Yeah, very strange. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go back. Uh, yeah, we can't get it there, can we? Let's, let's, go, let's put it back on priority um, of frame rate. It's weird because it looked better on frame rate. That was weird. Yeah, that was very strange. Uh, no, not there. Video options. So, prioritise image quality. Unless, yeah, that's the one I'm doing at the moment, isn't it? Or does it mean go right to... Pro Hang on, are we reading this the wrong way? Prioritise image quality is right, isn't it? Prioritise resolution. No, actually, I think we had the resolution, but it, either way, it looks better um, with that. Weird. But we'll try that, and I bet you it'll look better. Yeah, maybe I've mis misread where that is. Let's go back to the same one. It doesn't tell you what the frame rate is. Unless you're plugging it into a machine, you won't know what the frame rate is. Yeah, it definitely looked better uh, on the other one, didn't it? But that's what we're going to do. We're going to try it. But thank you to everyone coming in. I do appreciate so many of you being here. Like I say, if you're here for the unboxing, just roll the stream back a little bit. And I did a um, pre-recorded segment where I unbox it, set it up, show you what it looks like, show you where it's sitting. It's only about eight minutes long. So if you scroll back for that and then come back, I'm going to play Tetris. I'm going to play the Q uh, Yakuza, Yakuza um, and Forza if it installs. It all depends on what's installed. But I thought I'd do a little pre-recorded segment rather than just sitting here like this, waiting for the games to install. Yeah, this is definitely better. Yeah, resolution looks way better. Okay, so whatever mode this is, this is their next gen mode. Um, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's I wouldn't say it's any better than the PlayStation 4 version. But saying that, the game looks beautiful even on last gen. I mean, but it's it's running smoother, I would say. Yeah, it it does feel like it's running a little bit silkier. But if you didn't tell me, and if I didn't tell you, you would just think I'm playing the the last version. So I suppose if you're if you're getting if you're getting Dirt Five to show off your new machine, you're probably not choosing the right game. Uh, and Dirt Five can be quite expensive. So if you are specifically buying that to show off your machine on the S anyway, remember we're only talking about the S here, not the X. I haven't got an X, so I can't comment on the X. 
but the S, it's not particularly showing off the machine any more than the PlayStation 4. That's not knocking it, um, but that, that's the truth of it. But the game's lovely looking anyway. I am downloading in the background, yeah. Why? It's not buffering, is it? I mean, it does look nice, doesn't it? There's no, I love the smear effect. Forget what machine we're playing on. That smear effect there, I've never seen that on a racing game before. You know the way the windscreen wipers are actually smearing um, across the windscreen? And that's not on the S, that's on all versions. So cool. Graphically, this is a proper, uh, this is a proper gem. Multiplayer is mm, not very happy with a multiplayer. But it's going to, like I say, it's going to be a little while before we see truly, truly optimised, as in being built for the X and the S. It's going to be a little while yet. No buffering, that's good. It really is a diabolical lineup. I mean, if you think about it, and we're going to have these same conversations when, when I unbox the PlayStation 5 as well. It's pretty diabolical for, <laughs> for a launch. It's probably, I don't know what you think, but I think it's probably the worst launch lineup ever. You know, it really is actually quite lackluster. And if you wasn't, if you didn't get, if you didn't get chance to get an X or an S today, I really wouldn't worry about it. Especially if you've got, like, say, um, the Series X, the previous version. You know, until we start seeing these um, proper next-gen titles come through, you're not missing out on a huge lot, as you can see. But the more I play this, the rain effect, the mud effect. This is definitely on par with the PlayStation 4, as it should be. And maybe, maybe because it, it does really feel actually like it's got a lovely frame rate to it. Maybe a slight notch. I mean, look at that there. God, man, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Maybe a slight notch above the PlayStation 4 Pro version, but nothing that you would really uh, uh, go mad for. Lovely game, though. Love it. Coming back to read chat, I know there's quite a few people in. I don't want to miss um, any chat. Spider-Man, yeah, I can't wait for that. Although that's only quite a cut-down um, game, isn't it? That's not a fully-fledged game. It's about seven or eight hours, which is not a problem. Um, so where's the 120 frames? Well, you're not going to see 120 frames because I haven't got a 120 frame monitor. And, of course, I'm streaming in 60 frames anyway. Um, yeah, they should have bought more studios earlier. Yeah, the lineup. Tell me what you think of the lineup. The lineup is, um, and like I say, this is for both both new consoles as well there's i'm excited about the consoles but i'm not hugely excited about any title because they've done this sort of straddling thing of uh yeah seven or eight uh, yeah i haven't got a problem with that though no i haven't got a problem with that being a youtube channel seven to ten hours to complete a game is a dream for me <laughs> Because it means that I don't have to um, invest 50 hours into it, probably drop it and move on to something else. That's good. Yeah, there's no lineup. Yeah. The, the thing that I am happy with, and I will get back to the gameplay. I'm just talking shit to you. Here. The thing that I am happy about is the fact that they have concentrated. On, on one hand, I'm pissed off because there's no proper next-gen titles, pure next-gen titles. On the other hand, I'm happy that they've done this sort of um, upgrade thing. Because if there's any PC gamers in the chat, what's the first thing you do when you get a new shiny graphics card? You either go back to your, your old games, reinstall a load of the uh, old games, and just wonder at how much better it looks. Um, start playing again, go back to some old games. So that part of it, this this to me is like just getting a new graphics card. You know, I don't mind playing the older games. I don't mind playing... Um, Dirt 5 on the S as the slightly upgraded version. That's good until we start getting them true next-gen tiles. But that's what I do um, when I get a graphics card. I go straight back to old games and compare. And uh, that's pretty much what we're doing here. Wait, so when you play games that support 120 frames, are you getting it at a solid state or is it up to 100? Yeah, I mean, if you want 120 frames, especially on the S, that will all be at 1080p. You are not getting um, 120 frames 2k resolution out of a 249 quid machine you're just not if you're if there's any games here that do 120 it will be 1080p a loss in quality to up those frame rates you know you can't have everything one if you want everything you get the x and even the x isn't doing that so you know that you, you gotta get your expectations just right um 
I begrudge paying £70 for a Sony exclusive game. Won't do it. Well, you won't pay it then, Geiger. It's all about choice, isn't it? This is the beautiful thing. This is the beautiful thing. Yeah, this time next year, when... Yeah, I I don't know about this time next year. I'm hoping, like, early summer, we'll start to see some real um, games kicking off on next gen. Like I say, if you have just come in and you want to see the unboxing and where the machine is going to sit and what it looks like, the size, if you scroll back on the stream, um, I put a pre-recorded segment in so you get to see it all in one little batch rather than spread out uh, uh, on a stream. But let's have a look at you and see how we're getting on with some downloading. So Tetris is installed. I'm not going to go there yet, though, because, um, you know, I'm not uh, planning on going anywhere. So, we're well, we've got quite a bit on Yakuza. And I do think the start of Yakuza has ha- actually got quite a few uh, cutscenes on. So we might save that for another day. So let's do let's do a load more dirt. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's such a shame that Cyberpunk got um, put back. I would love to play that. I would love to play that today. £70 a game? Well, yeah, they pretty much. I mean, whenever you go um, to a new generation, they're always more expensive. 39 99 turned into 50 quid, um, And 50 quid turned into a lot more, actually, at the end of the generation. And I think your starting price is about 60 to 70 quid. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Do you think there'd be much difference between PlayStation 4 Pro to PlayStation 5 on current games? I think a lot of it is down to develop and, uh, development and what they do with it. Uh, obviously, it's got a natural boost to it, so it's going to make old games look better, but it's going to need the developer to dive into the code and actually make it better. Um, yeah. Let's be honest, 70 um, is a lot. Of course it is, Harold. Of course it is. And that's why I like doing my job here to help you decide. Because if you buy, I said this a thousand times, and I, if you buy the right game, 70 quid is actually fantastic value. You can take the family to a cheap restaurant down the road, you know, one of the like the Brewers Fair thing, uh, uh, and have a, a free course meal and a few drinks and a bit of an after, you know, and you'll spend 50, 60, 70 quid. Uh, if you buy the right game that with a bit of investigation and really choose 70 quid isn't a lot of money if you buy a lot of games off the cuff 70 quid is a lot of money i had specifically paid 74.99 tonight don't tell the message because she won't she won't know uh i i paid 74 for yakuza i had a quick lock on i'm not really i've never played the yakuza games that was a shot in the dark so i could show you something that's been truly optimized for x and s if it's shit that would be a big waste of 74 quid. If it isn't, that's fine. But any game that you like, look at, um, oh God, I don't know, Gran Turismo, for example, it was about 50 quid when it come out. How much content and time and fun and just hours upon hours. 50 quid is just so cheap for that. <laughs> Uh-oh, Kaz. <laughs> yeah, she, she'll never know. She'll never know. <laughs> yeah, you're only... You, yeah, but the thing is, you got 324 to spend. Yakuza is coming to Game Pass. Well, l- listen, I'm all about the channel. Uh, tonight, I wanted to bring you as much next-gen uh, content as I possibly could. But like I say, if you have just come in and you want to see the unboxing, scroll back on YouTube to about 10 minutes in. I did a pre-recorded segment. You get to see the machine, uh, the setting up of the machine, where it's sitting, how big it is compared to the PlayStation 4. Just slide back and then come back and see me at the end. Um, or go live because I'm playing Dirt 5 we're going to play Tetris which is on Game Pass we're going to play the Q- uh, Yakuza if it's downloaded let's do a couple of more races um, on Dirt 5 it's fine mo- uh, spending money on a multiplayer game yeah so maybe Nolan, yeah. speaking of the current crop of racers did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling me about the other day Ace? Let's yeah, go to okay, this one. Kind of funky name. Gonna be honest, a little jealous. Hey now, man. James is a great... <laughs> two more likes for 200. Oh, thank you very much for coming in. And feel free, I'm not going to be here to sell the channel. We're here to discuss the Xbox S. But if you do want to, um, feel free to subscribe. I do everything to do with gaming. Um, all platforms as well. I hope you got some sick coil over They will, Snowy. They will. Yeah. Is gonna wreck your day. Ah, James, I gotta go. I left my sick Can you play the 70 pound no, Xbox game on your PC? With yes. Yes. With tight turns and technical straights, small jump. Pity they don't do the two hour refund like Steam on a digital console. I think actually, 
I think Xbox do something like that, don't they? They definitely let you refund pre-ordered games. Well, Xbox, uh, PlayStation doesn't do that. But like I say, we're not here to compare or fanboy. I'm no fanboy. I love gaming. I've got a PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Love them all. Love them all. Yeah, it's going to be a late one tonight. We're not going to go anywhere. But it does look nice, like I say. I mean, it, you know, I'm not seeing... And I, I think the X, uh, the S has actually got ray tracing. I'm not seeing anything like that, I'll be honest. I'm not seeing anything. The splashes do look nice, I must admit. The water looks nice. The whole game looks nice on the PlayStation 4 anyway. So it's going to be... It's definitely going to be a hard one to judge. It really is. You know, on how much better it is on next gen. It's going to It's going to be a hard one to judge. Actually, one way to judge, and I don't know whether you noticed this as well, those that have got this game, um, there's like a blurring effect on the PlayStation 4 of the names above the card. Can, do, you know, do you know what I mean? Anyone that's got this game might know what I mean. It's very clear on, on here. And actually, this view is, is actually showing up, that the shadows and the reflection in the water, actually. Yeah, the, the reflection of the cars on the puddle. I mean, is that... Are we seeing ray tracing there? Because that does look nice. Obviously, I didn't see it so much in that view. Ray tracing is meant to be a subtle effect anyway. It's meant to be a sort of real-life effect on how light transfers and reflects on the things. <laughs> you go, boss is in. Got anything for 324? But we do need some proper, uh, you know, and this is this is the problem with being um, an early adopter, it's called. You know, getting stuff, but not before it's mainstream, but getting stuff early. Getting stuff the day it comes out, that is the problem with being an early adopter. You get that excitement of getting the product. That water looks really nice, actually. You get the excitement of getting the product, but sometimes, in this case, the software just isn't ready yet. So you are buying it early. You're an early adopter. And that's what's happened here. I will say though, the reflections on that water are definitely better than the PlayStation 4 version. So we are, I think we are seeing a little bit of next gen coming up. Maybe I was a bit early to judge on that particular track. Um, what do you think? Anyone else? I know I keep stopping it, but I don't want to miss any chat. Um, yeah, I know that's right. I know that's the effect of ray tracing a hack it. I just didn't know if it was full on working here. The game has to have ray tracing for it to be visible. These old games never. Had... Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> What's my missus planning? Snowrunner might have been good to play. That hasn't got a next gen version yet, so that isn't improved in any way. Jason, my missus is convinced you're from Essex. Can you verify a postcode? No, no, I'm not from Essex. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Why do you think I'm from Essex? Because I'm common, isn't it? <laughs> you were too early. Ray tracing seemed good. Very clear. Good frame. Uh, overall, 9 out of 10. <laughs> is that your review, Max? Yeah, the water does look better, actually. Yeah, I think what it was. Where I was in that view, I couldn't see it on that last track racing in that particular view now I'm actually seeing ray tracing in the puddles and it looks beautiful and it's not stuttering at all either but yeah so awesome we're seeing we're seeing a little bit we're seeing a little bit hello Chris how are you hello Kenny yeah yeah water better everything else the same oh yeah don't get me wrong I'm not um, pumping it up to be something it isn't I mean all there for example looks it looks identical it looks identical you do sound like the geezers in Watchdog Legions. I'm from London, isn't it, bruv? Oh my god, the uh, the voice acting in, in that puts me off buying the game. It genuinely does. PlayStation 4 started a lot on your first stream. Yeah, yeah, definitely it did, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go through the Stampede. I like the Stampede, actually. Now, is that down to the removal of the car model from the player's view? Yeah, because you can see 
you know, you can see lower, so you see more reflections. We'll play a couple of more um, races on dirt. Then we're going to go across to Tetris. It's free on Game Pass, and it mentioned that there's X and S improvements. So I want to see I want to see that. Um, we've got Yakuza downloading as well. That's only 31%. But there's no rush. I'm here for a little while, even if we play dirt for the rest of the evening. Um, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> only an Essex lad would deny hey, being from Essex. I got you. I know what you're up to. But not of the traditional variety. Snakes, buff horses. Again, these third. I don't know if it's confirmed. Uh, maybe someone might want to look at the site um, to see whether it's uh, confirmed for ray tracing. It's definitely optimized for X and S to utilize all the hardware. It says. Will I bring Doom Eternal to the channel? Um, I haven't got any plans to, I'll be honest. You know Jay's owns a f Fiat 500? Yeah, of course. You can definitely see their better reflections in the puddles when we come... Whoa! When we come on them, yeah. But like I say, this isn't comparing... You certainly can't compare last gen to new gen. We're not here to do that. We're not, we're not saying our shit or great Xboxes. I'm not a fanboy. I love all consoles, always have done. And the channel is about all games. So you're just going to get opinions here. Yeah? Just, just opinions. They're not, um, they're not preloaded opinions because I'm up the arse of a certain manufacturer. I don't really care about the manufacturer. I just want the machine and the games regardless of who, where or why. Now but there are some tracks on this game that really have amazing lighting. So we will um, we will we will race through a few tracks just to get a good feeling. Yeah geezer opinions, yeah. I've got bloody um, auto on. I don't want auto. I don't want auto. We want um, automatic. I mean, I'm not gods, am I? Um, we'll have anti-locking brakes off, traction control off, stability manager will be off. We want it all off. <laughs> Bus him? <laughs> That's better. But if you're looking for a next-gen racer, you know... I don't think you'll get much better to show off your machine. I wouldn't say that there's a massive jump in last gen to this gen on the S. I'm only talking about the S. But certainly reflections, everything like that, and frame rate, you are going to get um, a plus on. There's no doubt that it's got a better frame rate, no doubt. No diggity. But like I say, in general, it's just an amazing looking game anyway. Oh yeah, I mean, look at look at the PlayStation 4. Look at the first batch of games that come out for that. Once the developers, you know, sit down and actually develop a game for next gen and not have to have that um, last gen sort of holding it back, we're just putting a little bit of icing on for next gen. Once we get past that stage, look at the difference in the release games for PlayStation 4. I mean, PlayStation VR wasn't even spoke about when the PlayStation 4 come out. And then all of a sudden you're playing in VR, look at um, Last of Us 2, it's some amazing looking games, absolutely amazing. So yeah, who knows where we're going to go with this generation, who knows. But I definitely think that the S has got the market, it's got a, there's a reason they did it, and I like why they did it. Obviously with the PlayStation 5 they made the, the, um, the disc version, the disc list version, about 100 quid cheaper. But I think that's false economy, because I think being tied in to just one store... I, so, I suppose, yes, before you tell me, I am contradicting myself slightly, because this hasn't got a disk drive, but we'll get on to that. But just tying yourself into the PlayStation Store, I think is false economy anyway. Having that, you know, yourself open to buy discs if you want discs, uh, and pass them on second hand, trade them in for a penny, that game, whatever you want to do. Um, I like the fact that they've done a cut down version of power, I really do, because the market for this um, the market for this console is a casual gamer, a gamer on a budget, a gamer that hasn't got a, um, a 4K TV, although you still can play your movies and stuff in 4K, and just a general casual gaming family. So 
also not a hard gamer. Just, um, I don't know, a family that goes to work, they occasionally like to play FIFA together, or, or whatever, whatever scenario. There's definitely, an, uh, there's definitely a, a market, an ecosystem for the S. I really do. I'm glad it exists. And yeah, like I say, it's a 50-50 decision for me getting the S. It was a little bit of cost saving. But also, I've, I like the fact that there's a lot of new people to the hobby of gaming uh, coming in all the time. And the Xbox Series S, I think, is 249 quid. I think that's absolutely amazing. I really do. Yeah, do I play Forza? I will be playing Forza because we have got it downloading. So, yeah, we have... Uh, we have got it downloading somewhere. <laughs> I've got to get used to this dashboard. Yeah, so we've got Yakuza. That's, um, oh, we should be able to do the first bit. At least we'll be able to see it and see what it looks like. And then I've got Forza Horizon. Um, I will do a couple of more races on dirt while that's getting up to the point where we can play it. And then um, I've got Tetris to show you. Yeah, I know it's Tetris, but it is um, optimized for the S and the X. I want to see what it is. And it's free because it's on Game Pass anyway. So no Gran Turismo then? No, that's PlayStation. I mean, for someone who prefers PlayStation, this console is a bargain if you want to focus your wallet on PlayStation. That is so sensible, Max. What I like about this, I think that unless you're a hardcore gamer, like I know a lot of us are here, of course, we bleed our gaming. I know we do. But there's a lot of people here. And for a lot of people, 249 quid. And is it six ninety nine? It might be seven ninety nine for Xbox Game Pass. Um, wow, what a! You don't need to buy another game. You don't need to spend one single penny on another game. You just wait for stuff to come to Game Pass. The 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 hand in hand of the Xbox S and Game Pass. You've got every. Uh, if it was available when a lot of us older geezers uh, were young, oh my god, you've got access to so much stuff. And now you've got um, EA access on there as well, although it is just the basic per uh, basic part of EA access. It's not every game. You only get the vault, so you get their sort of older games, and you get 10 hour trials of stuff that's come out. So you have got that. I can't afford to be a hardcore gamer. Yes, you can, man. Man, you know you you know you're hovering over the buy button. <laughs> but yes, I'd never buy a separate game on this console. Game Pass only. Yes, the thing that a lot of people don't talk about on Xbox Game Pass, and Max had this a little while ago actually, um, games do go off of Xbox Game Pass. They come on, but it does push some games out. Max was playing, it might have been GTA, uh, and all of a sudden it's gone. It's gone, which I'm not complaining about, but I think a lot of people don't realise that games do go off on a regular basis. So it really is, um, you know, if you like it, you might end up buying a game. You might end up buying two or three games of something that you really enjoy playing on Xbox Game Pass. But just be aware that Xbox Game Pass, although it's amazing, amazing. Oh, Red Dead, come on, at the bite for real. Was it Red Dead then? Yeah. Yeah, but then, you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Good point, Scarab. Yeah, if you've played it enough that it comes off and then you go, oh, shit, I really want that, then, yeah, you go out and buy it. You might buy it second hand. But I think you could buy uh, as not even casual, way above casual and just below hardcore. If you played this of a weekend, couple of nights after work, all you would need in your gaming life is an Xbox Series S Game Pass Maybe Game Pass Ultimates, you don't have to pay for um, Xbox Live as well. And that's it. You turn it on, you see what they've added, you see what they took away. Brilliant. A brilliant bit of gaming. Brilliant. And Microsoft will, will clean up with that. People are asking about the controller. The controller is just the controller. And that is one of the main bits I'm looking forward to on the PlayStation 5. Haptic feedback, triggers. This is... Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. and uh, I think it's the... It's the ace up the sleeve of PlayStation. I really do. That You're going to be going, oh my god, feel that. Oh, that feels awesome. You're not doing any of that with this. This is just an Xbox controller. No different um, to my Elite controller, which I'll probably go over and start using that again. But nothing special is in here at all. Nothing special at all. And that, I think, uh, that's the same on the X as well. And that's not knocking the console. That's not comparing the console. It's just such a shame that they didn't improve that whereas playstation has gone down the route of that this is what you hold this is your physical connection outside of your eyes to the game 
you're going to be feeling rumbles you never thought you'd feel you got haptic triggers i mean i can't wait for that it is just a shame that they didn't do anything with this um but yeah it is a shame yeah it still has rumble triggers yes yeah like you say though jason not a massive no it's not a massive improvement mighty mark but we're not basing this is the problem like i say without repeating myself um this is the problem with being an early adopter, i.e. someone that buys stuff the day it's out. So a lot of us that were lucky enough to get them, we've got the S, we've got the S, it's sitting there, it's all shiny, it's all new, you probably un unplugged your old Xbox, you sort of sit there and it's like, oh, it, it's not that much different. That's because the games are uh, lagging behind at the moment, there's no proper next gen title. So, you know, genuinely, if you can't get one, I know that quite a few people um, have said in the chat, you know, I couldn't get one today, I queued up and that was out of stock. Don't worry, honestly, don't worry. I genuinely think that if you couldn't get an Xbox until the start of next year, you're not missing out on a load. You're missing out on that feeling of getting a new console, of opening it up, of plugging it in, of dismantling your old one, putting it all in. You're missing out on that. But in terms of gameplay, you know, this game isn't a huge amount different to the PlayStation 4 Pro, and probably Xbox X, the old X version. So don't, I wouldn't worry. You know, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't stress. Please, please, please don't buy the 800 quid ones on eBay. Don't give the scalpers double their money. It's not, it's not worth it. Don't do that. So if anyone, please, no one, get on eBay and get on them scalpers that are trying to charge you sort of up to 800 quid. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Um, you don't need to do it. Just carry on with what you've got. Buy this at the right time. In the new year, it might be 249 quid with a game, you know, or whatever. But yeah, don't uh, don't do that. The Elite controller is quite pricey. I've had that for ages. It was 250 quid. Yeah, and that's how much a, of a gamer it uh, Max is. Max has got the um, Gears of War one, and he got that when he was about three or four as his main present for Christmas. He loved Gears of War, and he loved it that much that that was actually his present for Christmas. Um, yeah, see you later, Scarab. I'm upgrading from the original Xbox One to Xbox Series X. I assume I'm going to see you. Yeah, you see a huge difference. You will, Tom. Yeah. Um, obviously, you can't do 4K on the original Xbox One. So yes, you are going to see a massive difference. You're not going to see as much a difference as you will do in say six to eight months' time, though. So be patient. Know you're in with the long run. Don't judge it on the games that are available only today because they're not they're not designed to show the machine off yet. They're really not. Is this actually live? It, it, it's been live for a while now. Right, let's do one more race, and then we'll go across and play Tetris. Of all things. Of all things. <laughs> you can use... I know, but I wanted to use the one that come with it. Like I say, this is no different at all, physically. And I know someone put, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, yeah, that is one way of looking at it. But no, I want them to... Oh, I like evolution. And what PlayStation have done supposedly done I haven't got it in my hands yet but from the review the controller is the real gem in that little package so yeah if it ain't broke don't fix it i agree but when one camp is making those sort of um next gen improvements to the thing you actually hold i expected more from microsoft who knows this could be i mean this could be added later couldn't it but that's not ideal then, is it? Because you're going to have to pay about 200 quid for a next-gen controller. So they're probably not going to do that. But there's nothing wrong with this controller. It's it's lovely. It's got um, a, a different grippy feel to the back, but nothing to speak of. Nothing to speak of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't agree with it. it. Yeah, no, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, because we might as well just stuck to the last generation then, isn't it? I like this car, actually. Yeah. Xbox X on eBay for a thousand plans. Please, please, please don't pay it. Don't don't get hooked up in that excitement because I know what that feels like. I'm fucking just as bad as anyone else. Oh, yeah, the fear of missing out, FOMO. Shit, I really want one. I really want one. And the more you can't get one, the more you want one. It's human nature. But what I would say is, like I said, uh, without repeating myself, if you can't get one, just just 
don't worry about it because as you can see here yes it's a little bit better on these generations of of games that straddle in two generations but even if you waited until the new year i genuinely don't think you're missing out on much you're really not it's not until next year that you're really going to start to see um proper titles that are made for made for this so don't worry about it if you can't get one please don't go to ebay and get scalped for double the money because it, it's not worth it it's not worth it I think this is quite a nice looking track. It's quite a hard one actually with these cars. Right, we're going to play Tetris next. So if you want to see um, something else, another title that's been optimised for X. And I think we will see some ray tracing in this because it's quite a simplistic game. So they can really um, optimise on the old uh, the old lighting. So I'm, um, you know, Tetris aside, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Tetris. This game is so good with a controller. Again, it's not a comparison stream, but um, I can't wait to play this on the PlayStation 5 purely because I want to, I want to feel um, the haptics, you know. Oh come on! Oh, oh no! I've clicked restart. Oh, that's out of order. Yeah, Scalpers brought them all. It's horrible. It's horrible. Yeah, don't get sucked into that. Don't get in that, that fear of missing out. This is why I wanted to show you everything tonight. Um, you know, I could either have blown your brain with how good it looks, or just gone, hmm, this is good. The incremental improvements on this one over the PlayStation 4 version that I've played. You know, the lighting is very nice, I must say, on the puddles, the ray tracing, if it is ray tracing, if it isn't, then, you know, so be it. But the, 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 uh, the reflections are beautiful on the puddles, they really are. But overall, this is a good graphical game anyway. This is, this is a good show-off game. Yeah, I mean, that all, that all looks nice, doesn't it? So if you have just come... Oh my good god, if you have just come in and you're missing the unboxing bit, um, if you scroll back to the start of the screen, stream, I did do a pre-recorded segment where I unbox it, install it, um, have a chat about it, show you where it lives, show you the size. So if you scroll back to the beginning of the stream, um, you'll see that. Other than that, we've gone through Dirt 5, Next up, we're going to go to um, Tetris, which has been optimised for X and S, so that will be interesting. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be cool. This is the latest game um, from, from Codemasters, yeah. Don't worry about my racing, I'm not here to show off racing, I'm trying to concentrate on as much chat as I can, and just showing off the look of the game, that's all we're doing here. Yeah, this isn't a look at my racing stream, this is... Uh, this is about the S. Did you get the X? No. Just the S. Will you play Flight Sim? Uh, Richard, I've played loads of Flight Sim on the channel. Will I play it again? Of course, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Scalpers are no different to them people that um, buy the tickets. The ticket touts, you know. The, yeah, yeah, they're trying to make a living, but they're not doing it. Um, in a very nice way are they and they create their own market by buying up as many as possible and then you've got to buy it from them you know I reckon half the stock um, <laughs> of these next gen will be bought by scalpers even to make one or two hundred quid there's a few of them trying to make more than that bloody hell but I suppose it's not like anything if you're silly enough to buy it then more for, more for you isn't it but please don't get involved in that fear of missing out and just thinking, oh my god, oh god, I didn't see that there. You know, you've got to have one. You haven't got to have one. Don't worry. If you if you wasn't able to secure one, as you can see, with this first batch of titles, as lovely as they are, and they are lovely, as lovely as they are, you are not going to, your life isn't going to be ruined. Wait until after Christmas, where you can just walk into a store casually and go oh can I have an Xbox please and they just get one off the shelf without you having to sort of try and pay double or you know wait it for hours you know <laughs> where's truck driver oh there's Series X on uh, on eBay 800 quid oh yeah it, it, it's sad isn't it it's sad that they want to do that and it's also a bit sad that people are desperate enough to, to get it isn't it <laughs> yes 
Yes, Train Sim World um, seems to have that extra improvement as well. So we'll definitely be... The good thing is about what I've done here, I can finally bring you Xbox content on the channel. You know, and it's something that... The Xbox is in my front room, so it's a real pain for me to unplug it. Max is generally playing it anyway, and get it in here. Now, this is going to live in here. So if you scroll back on the stream to the very beginning, you'll see where it's going to live. It's going to stay there. I'm going to be constantly scanning Xbox Game Pass for what's new. It gives me another line of content. It gives me multiplayer possibility nights with Xbox players. It's going to be cool. Right, let's, um, let's go and have a look at Tetris. <laughs> can't believe you can see it's got the x and the s uh little um icon there so yeah let's let's play tetris <laughs> who would have thought see you later robo nice to see you mate who would have thought that oh tetris <laughs> still why not and how far have we got um right okay so yakuza is ready to start so we'll play a little bit of um tetris and then we'll go to the ready to start bit you won't be able to play the entire game will you um, but at least we'll be able to see what it looks like i've got this game on a normal playstation 4 and what you're playing looks a lot better um than on my console yeah no it is it it looks lovely and the ray tracing if it is i say i'm saying ray tracing i don't want to mislead anyone i'm not sure if it's ray tracing it says on their website that they're optimizing the hardware for next gen and I know the PlayStation 5 has got um, ray tracing, so I'm not sure if the X and S has, but it's definitely optimised. And the shadows, the puddles, they look beautiful. They really do. And the frame rate was nice as well. Now, what we sh what I want to see here is a real impressive use of lighting and colour. That's what I really want to see here. So hopefully um, we see it. Manic Miner. <laughs> But thank you for all coming in. I love it when a load of you come in. We have a good old chat. Um, Sirius X does have it. No, no, the um, S has ray tracing as well. Yeah, the S has it as well. This is all I've been waiting for. Already it looks nice, doesn't it? Uh, can you play PlayStation 4s on an external drive on the PlayStation 5? You will in the future, Martin, but not at launch. Not at launch. Do we have Snake on here? Yeah, I should try this in VR, shouldn't I? Let's do, um, play the main, ca main campaign. Yeah, let's do that. We're here for, um, oh yeah, we should go to options actually, shouldn't we? Yeah, you're right. Yep, James, we should go there to see what graphical options we've got. Um, graphics. Brightness. Uh, there's nothing there. Okay, there's nothing there. So we'll just, um, we'll go there. What are the benefits of ray tracing? It's it's a lighting technique. So it's how the real world, if it's raining outside and you really take notice of puddles, you will see buildings reflect, I mean in the real world, you know, but you don't take any notice of it because it's natural, isn't it? Where that's all got to be programmed and put into a game. Ray tracing, hardware ray tracing, deals with that for you. So if you drive past a puddle, you should see the real world reflected in it. It's very system hungry. Even the latest generation of cards still struggle to give you everything and ray tracing. So that's what ray tracing is. It's a natural way for the hardware to light your environment. And in a way, you're not meant to notice it because it's meant to be natural, you know? Right, okay. Uh, would you like to view the basics? Yes, all right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, the basics, yeah, that's fine. That's, come on, this is Tetris. This is Tetris. Okay, uh, the deep. Right, so what I'm hoping for is some real nice lighting effects. I really am. Okay, so how do we twist? You you never know with a square, do you? Okay, that's for... The, what is it to drop? Come on, there must be a drop. What's the drop button? Oh, you can move that about. I think this is a bit like the one in VR, isn't it? So this is apparently optimised. What is the drop button? Okay, let's give it a few minutes just for the lighting effects to start happening. I don't know if this is really going to show off the machine, but it is optimised, so I thought I would show it to you. It's as simple as that. Like I say, it's Tetris. Don't expect too much, but it is optimised, so why not? Going to hit the hay. See you later, Max. 
thanks for coming in, my little my little son. That is my genuine son, by the way. I'm not just uh... on the Game Boy. It's down. Yeah, and it doesn't seem to be down. Down seems to. Oh, it's up. It's actually up. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. The thing is, I love Tetris. I play Tetris on the Switch. You know the little battle royale Tetris they do. <laughs> Fucking love it. I absolutely love it. Now it's going to depend on levels, isn't it? How good this actually looks. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to show off my Xbox S by showing you Tetris, but it says it's optimized, so I thought I'd show it to you. I don't think you're really going. Now I've seen it. I don't think you're really going to notice um, the difference between this and uh, the sort of vanilla version, if you like. I don't think you are. Yeah, this is supposed to be amazing, amazing in VR. Yeah, I think I'll give it a go, actually. Yeah. I mean, it's got... I think the game itself is a pretty game, isn't it? Nice and relaxing. I don't think we're going to see much difference on here. What do you think? And this is only one level, isn't it? I find Tetris so relaxing, though. I really do. And if there's anything you want to see on the machine in the menus or anything like that, um, strangely, it doesn't necessarily feel like a this is another thing you see it doesn't feel necessarily like a next gen oh that looks nice oh the lighting is very nice um, it doesn't necessarily feel like a next gen upgrade because the interface is very very familiar very familiar and I think it's going to be the same across the board anyway so you're never going to really feel next gen it's just Xbox yeah, nothing special graphics-wise. It is Tetris, though, yeah. And also, this is this is free on Game Pass. This is what I'm talking about, right? I'm not talking about necessarily me, you, the hardcore gamers here. But imagine this, right? As a casual geezer that goes to work, the kids want to play a little bit of Xbox, the missus might want to play this. Imagine coming home after a day's work, you pay 250 quid for this, cheap as chips. Right? And you get Xbox Game Pass, so you just have a scroll through and you just sit and play this for a couple of hours and turn it off. Not like me and you, not like where we're fucking living and breathing gaming. I'm just talking about... Oh, thanks. Thanks, son. Let her out, wouldn't you? Out you go, darling. Go on. Out you go. No, not out, out. <laughs> no, not out, out. I'm just talking about an average family paying 250 quid for the latest games console and paying 6 seven ninety nine, whatever it is for um, Xbox Game Pass. What a fantastic gaming solution. So good. So good. It's a proper game time to be a gamer, isn't it? Game Pass has, has upped the game, I think. It really has. <laughs> Look at the ray tracing on that square. Yeah, I mean, I thought I'd show it to you. I mean, the lighting effect is beautiful. There's no doubt about that. I don't know. I'd have to look at the other version and really compare it. We are also waiting for Yakuza to download as well. Um, luckily, I did that little pre-recorded segment. Otherwise, we would have been waiting for nearly an hour and a half. Probably just saying the same thing over and over again. So hopefully you appreciated my afternoon's work to do that pre-recorded bit. And if you have just come in, if you scroll the stream right back to the beginning, you'll see a pre-recorded segment where I unbox it. Um, install it, show you where it lives, show you how big it is compared to the PlayStation um, 4 Pro. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to scroll back. We've played Dirt 5. Again, if you've just come in and you want to check that out, feel free. We are just about to, after a few fra frames, a few goes of this, we're going to play Yakuza. Um, just brought it. 74 quid. Seems a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> That's where the expensive part of gaming comes in. But if you didn't, if you weren't into Yakuza, or you didn't even know what Yakuza is, you just know what Game Pass is. So, so to buy this for 250 quid and Game Pass, amazing. I'm probably going to get a copyright strike on this stream um, for this music. But it's all good. Right, let me. Um, I want to come back to the chat. So I do keep pausing it, but it's important to me what, what's being said in the chat. Yeah, No Man's Sky, Next Generation, Update does look really nice. That They do mention ray tracing uh, and lighting, so I'll definitely be trying out. Have you played any of the past? No, Will. No. 
No, it was either that or by Assassin's Creed, which I knew I'd play for half hour and uninstall it. So I thought I'd take a chance, literally take a chance on Yakuza. Um, new fancy Xbox and you're playing bloody Tetris. I know. Um, it's a case of what to show you. Now, this game states it's X and S enhanced. So that's why I'm playing this. Not just because, oh, what shall I play? Should we be able to play a bit of Tetris? I'm trying to show... Um, I'm trying to show what it looks like. You know, simple as that, really, you know. Should I get this consultation? I don't make your mind up for you. That's not what I'm here for. After the accuser, can we see the quick resume? Yes. Yeah, well, you can see it now. So we're in the middle of there. Let's go back to Dirt 5. Did I actually... It might be because I went to the menu. This would be enhanced on the SNES. <laughs> I haven't played Forza. I doubt it's going to... Um... Oh, it's really quiet. I can't hear it. No, there's just a nice little... Just a nice little fan hum. A really low fan hum. Yeah, all afternoon it's been on. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is... Yeah, because you're in the menu. Yeah, exactly. So what we'll do is we'll um, we'll get into the game and then we'll go across to Tetris and then come back. Are you going to be un doing an unboxing stream for the PlayStation 5? I'll probably do exactly what I've done here. Do a pre-recorded segment um, and then come on, play games. It, it, otherwise, you would have literally been sitting here for um, two hours just watching it install with me saying fill in time basically this way we've been able to condense all of that down into a pre-recorded segment and now we're playing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get into the race and come out that's what i'm going to do yeah of course we we I, that's quite nice actually because it was almost natural wasn't it uh, the loading times the loading time is still pretty long on this particular screen though which it always is but that is shorter than last gen without a doubt yeah watching me on the floor uh, scramble right what we're going to do is let's go back to tetris unless there's a setting i don't think the quick resume is particularly working I mean, I was mid-game, wasn't I? Oh, no. No. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, doesn't the other... Doesn't the X do that already? Isn't quick resume an all, already a thing? I thought it was. I already thought it was. I mean, like I say, this looks lovely, doesn't it? And I will definitely go back to this. Not for a stream. I will be playing this. There's no doubt about it. It looks it looks lovely, relaxing. Obviously, this is only one level, isn't it? A blue level. I'm sure there's going to be more. No, it wasn't a thing. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then. I mean, check it out. It, here it is in full flow. Let's see where it puts us. How many people play two games at the same? I think that's underrated what you're saying there, John, because I flick through a lot of games. A lot of games. Play in VR, not on the Xbox print. <laughs> so where is it going to put me? So I think it just gives a little bit of loading time. Signed in. So you've got to sign in, have you? Now I think it's going to take me to that race. So so far the name of the school is. No, no, it didn't. It didn't. Dirt didn't resume. What, kind of what do you think? Kid? Interesting. Tetris did. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't think um, what I'm buying in there is just for this alone. <laughs> is the quality 2K or 4K? It's 4K if... Um, oh, you saw a little quick resume icon come up top right there. Uh, 4K is for movies, 2K is for gaming. You won't get 4K gaming out of the S. So this is perfect for someone who hasn't got a 4K. Or maybe even a youngster that is lucky enough to have one of these in the room, but has got a 1080p um screen perfect for that and it absolutely perfect maybe it only works for smaller games yeah maybe yeah is it only game pass games what aaron what's your question is what only yeah dirt five it might be yeah 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 right okay Let, let's um let's finish this and then and then we'll go over to play some of yakuza yakuza has gone past the bit where you what's happening i'm getting rumbling i'm getting rumbling I mean, lighting effect is beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is 
it's not particularly um, showing off next gen. Did anyone have that Tetris game on the PSP? Um, well, what was it called? Oh my god, my wife spent some time on that. She she doesn't say she calls herself a non-gamer. She's not a gamer. Bloody hell, she spent some time on that. What was it called? Does anyone remember what that was called? It was so cool. Tetris, um, Tetris Evolved, it might have been. Lumens, that's it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's Lumens. Yeah, of course, what am I thinking? Lumens was really cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, Lumens was awesome. Yeah, my wife played that for absolutely hours. This is actually a, a stylish little game, and I will try it in VR, actually. Yeah, I will try it in VR on the PlayStation VR. So we will go across to the Yakuza. I don't know what I can show you in Yakuza because it hasn't fully um, downloaded. It's got to the bit where it says ready to start. So whether we can do something in Yakuza. Uh, apparently, I, I just saw on one of the uh, YouTube videos before I dropped 74 quid on it because I hadn't even took any notice of Yakuza at all. It looks stunning. So hopefully the, um, the S will really show that off. But like I say, as happy as I am, and I really am happy to have the S, mainly from a, a channel point of view, I'm so happy to be bringing Xbox content. Um, it's been missing from the channel from the start, really. I'm so pleased. I call myself an all-round gamer, and yet I don't pretty much do any Xbox content. This is looking pretty, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, like I say, if you couldn't get hold of one, my advice is don't stress, don't stress, don't pay over the odds. I think you could buy an Xbox S or X start of next year and I genuinely don't think that you'll be missing out on anything just yet. I really don't. And to be honest with you, I mean, I think the same will be said for the PlayStation 5 as well. Um, yeah. Tell me what you think. No, I like this. This is, uh, forget, um, forget next gen. I don't care. It looks beautiful. And um, yeah, I like this. This is cool. There is a demo. Oh, nice one, Beard. Oh, I'll be I'll be trying that tomorrow then. I'll be trying that tomorrow. Oh god. Oh, here we go. It looks like we might be doing Yakuza a little bit earlier than planned. Nah, I can handle this. I can handle this. I'm a I'm a pro. I'm a, I'm a am I a pro? Am I a pro though? I think I I'm not a pro in any way, shape, or form. Let's go to before we go to the Yakuza. They could have made the board a bit bigger. Yeah, I think the idea is is that they're trying to give you effects all the way around it. Let's see whether we can choose. Um, we might be able to choose. I think that's the one we did, wasn't it? Yeah, I was hoping I could go to a, like a later level or something. Yeah, if you could just um, refresh... Yeah, sorry everyone. Right, we are going to go... Yeah, it's back. YouTube, isn't it? Thank you for sticking around, I do appreciate it. Is the Xbox Series X the same as the Xbox One S? Someone please respond. No. The Xbox Series... This is... I don't know why they didn't call it something else. Because it's unnecessarily and unfairly um, complicated. No, uh, Tune, it's not. Xbox S was an addition of last gen this is new gen so no it's not the same at all it's far more powerful um yes i was just watching the cowtown whoever he is and he's playing the same game <laughs> this is i mean it is pretty weak isn't it the lineup for both the playstation um and the xbox is pretty weak there's no there's no there's no way of getting around it there's no way of bullshitting it the lineup is probably the least exciting for such a powerful machine as well. You know, these are power beasts, not necessarily the X, but the Xbox X and the PlayStation 5, they are power bricks. They are so, so powerful, you know, bringing ray tracing and all the rest of it. And what a shit lineup! <laughs> it's crazy, but that's what you get. Like I say, without I don't want to just keep repeating what I'm saying, but um, that's what you get for being an early adopter, for being a day one purchaser. You get you get the hardware before the software is going to catch up in this particular 
um, case. Give it six months, you'll be all over this. Yeah, we'll be oohing and ahhing all over the place. Shall we go and play um, Yakuza? It says ready to start, so is everyone up for that? Yeah, the Series X and the S is probably the weakest of any console generation. Yeah, yeah, the systems do deserve better. Yeah, yeah, they are they are powerhouses, but it's going to be um, it, it's going to be a long game. You've got to be in it for the long game. Yeah, so I mean, it probably the stream probably won't be as long as I first imagined it to be because I don't really want to go back to dirt. I've already shown you that Tetris is Tetris. Yakuza, it's only 50 set, 50, I've got a cup of tea. It's only 56%. So although it's ready to start, it's a bit like dirt, the ready to start bit, you just get one track and being able to drive around. But I am looking forward to Yakuza from the very, very quick clip that I saw. I thought, shall I drop 74 quid on that? Because I want to show you stuff. You know, if you're going to take your time, um, precious time to come to the channel, I wanted today to be quite action packed, which hopefully it was. I've shown you the unboxing. I've condensed it down into a pre-recorded little segment so you didn't have to wait around for any installing apart from Yakuza. Um, showed you Dirt, showed you Tetris, and of course I'll be bringing you loads more Xbox. This is now part of my daily gaming schedule to be playing xbox so some titles i might get on xbox instead of playstation some titles i'll bring to xbox that aren't on playstation so i'm really happy about that yeah i'm really happy about that uh do they even improve forza yeah forza horizon has got some improvements i'm not sure what yeah right okay <laughs> can you play fortnite or truck driver Actually, I should give Fortnite a go, shouldn't I? Because um, it has actually been improved, hasn't it? You now get 60 frames! <laughs> what have you been waiting for, Morris? <laughs> yeah, the Resident Evil is a member stream, and then I'll make it, um, I'll make it public afterwards. Hmm. <laughs> Right, okay, I've got no idea what Yakuza is. No idea. I just thought it'd be funny to buy it. Adam's been... Um... Oh, get Rocket League. Get Rocket League. He's been banned for liking Rocket League. You're strict tonight. Uh, okay, here we go. Fucking love Sega. There's also a bit of a rumour that Microsoft are thinking of buying Sega. Is that going to be their next... Um, uh... A big, big studio to buy. I wouldn't mind that, you know. He was being a cock. Nah, that's fine. You, you, you do what you got to do. Yeah. Playing German. Right. So yeah, it is eleven o'clock. So what I'll do is I'll play whatever we can play of Yakuza. We'll have a little bit of a roundup. Like I say, sorry to repeat myself. If you have just come in and you want to see the unboxing, roll back the stream to the beginning. I did a pre-recorded segment condensed about two hours of uninstalling of, of installing and plugging in into about eight minutes so hopefully that was of use to you and then we've just got on with playing so yakuza i pay for this today 74.99 because i wanted something new to show you this has been optimized for x and s and it is is it triple a i think it's a triple a it's a big boy title on it so it might be something that i absolutely love um, let's go into settings see if there's any graphical settings game graphic options normal high resolution no, sh let's go high resolution shall we high resolution but less detail is that let's go higher resolution yeah let's do that now the only thing is with the yakuza i think i'm not sure but i think there's a lot of uh, cutscenes so we're just gonna have to sit through it but that's fine we can we can have a chat he's playing me fast and furious box set That's quite a long cutscene. That's all right. Well, you know, we're here, we're chilling there. It's all good. Who knows? This could become one of my favourite games of all time. I'm so open to games these days. Ever since starting the channel, I've just opened my horizons. I used to think my genre was driving. It turns out that I just love all gaming. And the amount of games that I bypass, because that's not driving, I won't like that. But now, obviously from the channel, I've been I've had access to so many different types of genres that um oh i've got a first aid oh um that i realized that i do love gaming of any type even if it is tetris or whether it's driving i just love all gaming 
Doom Eternal when it comes to Game Pass. We can play together. Don't know much about this one. I don't, James. Yeah, Light and Shadow. But I'm up for it, though. I'm, I'm quite up for it. And uh, if it's good, we'll do a playthrough. Long have I waited for this day. Hopefully, this is quirky Japanese shit. I love that. Absolutely Do love not it. Pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. Seventy-four for a last-gen game. This is why digital only is a ripoff. Um, yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah, I do agree with you. But I wanted a, I wanted a quite a big game that was optimized for the XNS. Might be a mistake, but it's worth it to show you. So you don't have to. Today, finally. Oh, okay, Todd. Will have hmm. its due. Quiet. Men, have your way with her. <laughs> Men, have your way with her. <gasps> I didn't realise it was that. <laughs> what what choice of wording is that? Men, have your way with her. Huh. You actually believe I would ever let myself be 900, yeah. A, mere woman. a lot of it is upscaled, though, isn't it? So... It certainly doesn't look like 9 -8. It does. It certainly doesn't look less than 1080p, does it? You can get this for 50 not Yeah, I just went to the 74 version. It's all good. It's the investment in the channel. You know, it's, people uh, take the time to tip and members. It's all fine. That's what it's for. I think you can use any keyboard, Sean. I think you're a little bit behind there, mate. I think just plug in a normal keyboard and you've got it. You fool of a man. You fool of a man, John. It's already on Peter Game Pass. Slasher is none other than I. See, this is what I what this is why I purchased the S. How Did good is it? That? Looks lovely, doesn't it? You know, it doesn't look like you it doesn't look like I'm missing out on anything. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> what I imagine is is that this is quite a long scene hence they allow you to play it and hopefully it will download uh, by the end of it that's what we need for the stream <laughs> we need one of them for the stream <laughs> is it showing on game pass can you show with now yeah in a minute yeah Yeah, we'll see. I saw a couple of scenes at night out in the town and uh, in the city. It did look beautiful. We'll see. It definitely 100% um, doesn't look 900. It doesn't look less than 1080p, does it? So there is some trickery um, going on. There's some dynamic resolution, probably. Yeah, all cod. Did all you cod? All everybody. good. Money around your neck. Yeah, we definitely need that, yeah. No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star. You talking about me? <laughs> this kind of money is nothing. So don't let it go to your head. All right, lady. Oh, wait, leave the necklace, sweetheart. Now fuck off. You ungrateful little brat. She's going to get it, I'll tell you. Don't you Oh god, yeah, YouTube com compression as well, yeah. Yeah, thank you for all the likes, and um, like I say, obviously feel free to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I appreciate you coming in. All gaming here, all platforms, all genres, variety gaming. Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. I think you can see the difference on small things on Forza, probably, Chris, yeah, probably. I definitely could in the puddles in Dirt 5, without a doubt. You could see it. Shall we go to Love Mount this Mount Japanese Mount stuff, though, don't you? I really do. Are you sure? No, I haven't, Mark. I haven't. No, I, um... 
I gambled. 74 quid on it. It's fine. It's for you. It's for you. If I either save someone 74 quid, if you've been thinking of buying it, or you haven't been thinking of buying it, and you go, actually, I quite fancy that. That's my job. That That is what I do here. That is it. Are you okay? Forza load time is 80% faster. So you're feeling that, aren't you? That's good. That's next-gen shit, that is. Yeah. Don't yeah, definitely Stimson. Yeah. Maybe next-gen I will go it, because... Um, Let me give you a hand. They have got some improvements, haven't have they? Time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor. It does look interesting, Joseph. I want to see gameplay, though. Every actor needs a backup plan. And there's no point me skipping it because it's still downloading in the background. So the town tonight? See the super fast. Can't one believe one. it. Nice one. Just the two of us. Come Is on. that dude modelling your okay. denim shorts? I like the silliness. I've heard about this sort of silly mini games, so. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we be playing Forza tonight? Probably not, Aaron. No, because it hasn't uh, downloaded, so probably not. God of War, yeah, yeah. Don't be like that. You know. When I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I still play that Ostrom. You might see me pop up on um, on the PlayStation with that. I'm still playing that. Probably won't bring it back back to the stream, but I'm still playing it. Hey, oh, I'd have a bloody Chinese now. Today? I know. How about Peking duck, the king of Chinese food? Yes. Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. Um, I'm not watching it really, Cyber. <laughs> Hang on, was that woman this kid? Um, if it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night. Yeah, excited for... Oh, God, yeah. Well, it, it was the um, it was the trailer of the next one that made me go, right, I've got, to, I've got to play it because it looked amazing. That kid is the man playing the woman. You're already messing with me. If you like Forza Motorsport 7, yeah, Chris, is, uh, have you not seen it on the channel? We used to play it all the time. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take Yeah, I'm just letting this go across my yeah, head at the moment. I want to I see the graphics the of the game. That's what I really want. <gasps> Jeez, chips and gravy. Stop it. I'm on a diet, Andy. So just stop that talk right now. Yeah, you don't have time to make a cuppa, yeah. But we will go after I've shown you the graphics on it. I think I'll keep the stream, rather than just egg it out at the end, let's keep it a little bit short. Um, you know I'm going to bring Xbox content in the future, but this stream really is about the unboxing and playing those free games. So once we send a little bit of gameplay and actually see what it looks like, leave off, mate, uh, then I'll probably nip off. And pay attention. If I do like this, I'm going to have to start again and I, because I haven't got a king clue what's going on. Yeah, of course, on PlayStation, you've got those um, free games, haven't you? And God of War's on there as well. And I think that's optimised to some extent, isn't it? East. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Skin tone there looks lovely. They always have trouble with the mouth and the teeth, don't they? Oh, that was a flashback, wasn't it? Okay. Funny though, I've, I already like this. Depending on the gameplay, I like the setting and the um, the feel of it. I like it. I just wanted stuff to show you, you know. Apparently, very smooth. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. Oh my god, we have got. Loads of gaming to do. Oh and my god, so many games, so many machines, and just not enough time. AG. Oh, look at Michael Jackson with his one glove on. What are you thinking? On New Year's Eve? Oh, that's good, Alan. No yeah, I mean, the load times are actually underrated, aren't they? It really does add to your experience, doesn't it? Job. Uncharted 4, I haven't never played that either. Oh shit. I'm just gonna have to become a full time streamer, aren't I? That's what I'm gonna have to do. See you later, Stu. 
come on, I want to feel the atmosphere of the, the game and have a, have a walk round. Stop, Uzio, you piece of shit! What? And get caught? Get fucked, you cum stain! <laughs> they are not words you thought you would hear on my stream tonight. Get fucked, cum stain. <laughs> Okay, chasing down thugs. Navigate the city without bumping into. <laughs> Get fucked, come stay. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you come to my stream expecting family entertainment. <laughs> okay, by pressing the delayed inputs to catch up with your target. The distance. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to catch up. Yeah, cutscene, the game for 75, 75 quid. Yeah, but yeah, I understand. Right, here we, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, so I'm doing the chasing. Okay, okay, here we go. So this is the, the these are just full of um, cute little mini games, aren't they? I love I love the idea of that. I've got to press it quicker. It's paid for itself for that line alone. Fuck off. Come stay. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where did he... Where did he go? Oh shit, I've lost... I've lost him. Did I lose him? <laughs> Looks like I shook him off. Ha ha ha, motherfucker! How about that for a cum stain? <laughs> Videos? Ushio, pal. I know you're not Hello, Kerry, how are you? Why did you think I think we have a new name for Codus. There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. <gasps> believe me. What the fuck? Oh, I believe you. The problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. What the fuck? Remember all the good times we had in middle school? I'm so sorry about this, everyone. It's not like this is earning the Yakuza's bottom line. Actually, it is. Big time. <laughs> Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come bitching the Arakawa family about porn stars <laughs> on our... Uh... We can't have that kind of shit staining <laughs> our good name. So come yeah, good night, uh, Peaches. The cash you squeeze out of them. What the fuck is this? It did take an unexpected turn. Yeah, yeah, gum stain. Ah. <laughs> Did you forget who you're dealing with? Of course not. Oh, here we go. We're gonna have a fight. Yakus is street trash. Who's gotta learn when to quit? Is there no subject? There's two to to taboo. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm up for this. This is pretty cool, actually. Is it um oozing next gen? Probably not. We will go back and choose the normal rather than the resolution, which should um, give us some more um, graphical detail. Actually, quite like the look of the game. Is it oozing detail? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Uh, during battle, you will select which actions. Okay, so there's more more mini gaming. Okay. Take your best shot. Nice. I like the game though. There was one of these free on PlayStation Plus a little while ago, wasn't there? A Swedish erotica 86, is that what it said? Yeah, early days, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think in a way, um, it's sort of, in a way, it's a chosen art style, isn't it? What's the other game? Shit, what's the Dreamcast game that they're bringing back? Come on, help me out. Um, Stimson will type it in, I know. What's the Dreamcast game? similar graphics that that they're bringing back um, it's almost like a um a captured chosen art style what's it called shem nui yeah it's the same as that it looks identical even the new one it is it's meant to look like that i don't mind that but i would expect more oozing of um the environment and graphics for it to be really sold as look this is a next gen title all right let's have it Bosh! Essex geezer coming through. You like this? 
Do I get... Oh, I didn't... Oh, okay. The red gauge at the bottom is your energy. Energy. Okay. Uh, hold X is for items. Oh, we can do it that way. Okay. Just, excuse me, mate. I'm just going to have a little bite to eat. Okay. Okay, so B is for 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 guard. This is a little bit like um, uh, um, turn based, isn't it? Yeah. It's on play. Yeah, this is. Is this an exclusive for a little while um, to Xbox, as I understand it? Yeah, it is a new game, Joseph. Yeah, it's out today, I think, actually. I actually like the game. The, the, I, I like the game. I think I'm going to enjoy the game. Is it oozing next gen? No. It's a nice looking game. I mean, there's no, there's no question about that. I haven't played any of the other Yakuza games, so this all feels quite fresh to me. I like this. Bosh! Fucking have that cum stain. <laughs> if anyone comes in now, that's going to seem really, really out of place, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's on PlayStation 4. Oh, I've got you, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Get a lot deeper, uh, a, a lot deeper the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, cool. I think it's one of them sort of um, uh, acquired taste, these sort of games, which I don't mind them. I don't mind them at all. Right, see if we can get back to the menu and we'll go for um, optimised, or go to normal rather than resolution. Which should turn the resolution down, graphics up a little bit. I just love this environment, um, this sort of culture, it's, it's great. Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. <laughs> oh yeah, check this out. What's he got a dirty video for me? Pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, loaded. I want to buy some Someone's of the special videos. I think the Xbox is getting much better. All the problems. What do you mean, not um, confronting you coming, but what do you mean by all the problems at the moment? See you later, John. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm quite excited about this game. Forget console aside. Um, yeah, quite into this. I'll probably start again on the stream, to be honest with you. Oh, thank you. No, you idiot. I need my hair. I just got it done. And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit. It's quirky, isn't it? Quirky as fuck. There were some problems with the SSD. No, they're just saying that you can't get third-party SSDs at the moment. But who's going to fill it up instantly anyway? You're always getting pummeled there. Oh god, I'm not going to get pummeled, am I? You calling me a masochist? Hell yeah. I think to start with, there's a lot of cutscenes in this from what I've heard, so I don't think it's going to be like it all the way through. Yes, I do. Let him do that. Yeah, there's no problems with the SSD. This is the problem. Someone hears something and then they repeat it and add their bit and before you know it, the PlayStation 5's got hard drive problems. It hasn't. It hasn't. They're blocking you off having third party at the moment while they test it. While they test it. That's a bit annoying. But who's going to fill it up in the first month anyway? You know? I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? Am I going to fight this geezer then? My brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. <laughs> Dragon Quest. Hey, <laughs> Chris, you should know that. If you've been here before, you'll know that. I am going to go soon. Um, I want to keep it without repeating myself and going over old ground. The stream's there for someone to look through if they want to see the unboxing and see a few games running. But I'll definitely be back with some Xbox content. E Xbox content is now on the channel. And I paid 74 quid for this, so I'll certainly be playing it. I'll start afresh 
and we will have a few streams on this and actually see what it's like. You can put your PlayStation 4 games on an external hard drive. I don't think you can at the moment, Mark. I don't think you can at the moment. Um, I may be wrong. Get to a karaoke bar, yeah. He preferred Tetris. I can't wait for Volcano High, Les. It's going to be so funny. We are going to literally rip the piss out of that all the way through. <laughs> I think they said PlayStation 4 and external. Um, what I saw. Yeah, like I said, I might be wrong. Trouble is, like um, Stimson said there, you get all these articles, and after time... They're not even factual. This is why I don't go too much for rumours, because well, you give you give someone the wrong info. information. Thanks. Hit me up at the Sig shop when you're done. Yeah, go to the Sig sure. shop. Probably Stimson. Yeah, because the the Miles hey, Morales bit that is pure next well, gen, isn't it? Up. That bit I'll isn't. Am I right in thinking oh, that the Miles Morales bit? Hey isn't on PlayStation 4. So that really is the next the first next gen title, isn't it? No clue. I'm just the messenger. Just not PlayStation 5. I got you Delo. Okay. Right, a little bit of um hopefully we can change this mid um I got to say though, I like the game. The game has grabbed me. Um high resolution. Let's go normal. Yeah, really, you can see it in the text, can't you? It changes it instantly. Look at that. Look at the, the white writing above high resolution. Standard. You've got proper blurry feel, but theoretically that should give us um, better actual graphics. Is this really worth £70? Probably not, Aaron. I brought it as an investment just to play a brand new game that was optimised for the X and S. I wouldn't normally do that. Um, I wanted to have something different for you to look at tonight rather than just... Um, um, Horizon, uh, Forza, you know, Forza Horizon. Right, so, again, I mean, is that giving us more detail? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You can see some dynamic resolution going on there, though, can't you? I don't think it is better. Hang on, am I, am I getting my head around this wrong? Surely with a lower resolution, yeah, they might be giving us frames extra frames but I'm I, in my mind I'm thinking well we'll get better graphics um, it probably is the frame rate isn't it that if we if we turn around you can tell by the way it's yeah and let's go back here because this is this is important you know they're saying it's X and S optimized well you know where is the optimization the, yeah it's frames isn't it look at the way that's sort of you can tell that's 30 frames going through there yeah, okay, so we've got a higher resolution, lower frames. And this is going to be the same for a lot of games, so this is this is an important setting to to look at. Oh god, yeah. So that that is way smoother, isn't it? That's interesting. What would you choose in the chat? Resolution or um frames just type into the chat frames or resolution i'll be interested what you would choose there yeah frames or resolution what would you go for i don't know now actually i think it would be quite nice to have the better frames so frames or resolution spam it in only spam it once but we'll get we'll get an idea i think i would go resolution i really do 30 frames especially for a game like this has pro never really bothered me but you're saying frames. You would go for frames. You would go for, for this mode. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think it's going to be resolution for me, you know? A <laughs> refund! <laughs> well, you haven't paid, so you ain't got to worry, have you? You can just sit back and watch me waste my money. No, I don't think you need frames for this type of game. 30 frames, if it is 30 frames, is more than enough. So, oh, me personally, you can see that you can instantly feel the difference. But no, I think personally, I would go. Um, I would go resolution on this one. Yeah. Right. I think that's because we're going to end up talking about the same stuff. But 
I think in terms of a stream start to finish book ended I think that's pretty much it so at the start of the stream I showed you the unboxing and setting it up where it's going to live I'm just going to go and touch it actually see how hot it is it's really cool it's I mean the little black vent is the only bit that's got any heat coming out of it because obviously there's a big fan in there um, so yeah we've shown you that Quit pretend to love it. <laughs> Shows you the unboxing. Did that in a pre-recorded segment to save us a couple of hours so we could just look and talk about games. And I think that worked out um, all right. And uh, yeah, did you sniff it? I did. I did. Um, and I'll probably do something very, very similar to the PlayStation 5 as well. But that is it. Hopefully it's helped you in some way this stream, whether you feel like you're missing out and realise you haven't, or whether you really do want something like this, whether you've, you're on a budget and you think the 250 quid is worthwhile. I've got no qualms about buying the S. I'm, I'm happy with it. Absolutely happy. Who knows, if I do more and more and more Xbox content, then probably would I, I would upgrade and maybe give that one uh, to Max or whatever, but... I'm really happy with my purchase. I don't think there's there's no disappointment. There's the disappointment of not getting oozing next gen games. But I knew as an early adopter day one, they just wasn't in existence. So that I'm not too worried about. This is a long game. Look at the what the PlayStation 4 was doing at the start to what it's doing now. I know this is a long game. I know that's going to be sitting on my desk for at least four years, probably maybe five years this generation. Maybe this will be the last generation of a box to play games. Maybe we just stick a USB fire stick thing in and you just stream your games. Who knows what's going to be happening um, in the future. But thank you for spending some of your evening with me. Like I say, hopefully it's helped you. If you are watching this on the rerun, let me know that you got this far. Uh, and before you go, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow probably with some Xbox content. But have a lovely evening. I'll see you next time.